Alright, hey guys, the name from Campbell Chemicals. Alright, day two of the GCSA Turf Conference Arm and Show. This is pack up time. Um, I did do a quick rundown of the oh, sorry, uh, vlog yesterday, but that was on through Turf Management Australia Facebook page. So if you do want to see that, um, yeah, have a look at there. I did a live feed. I'm gonna hope I'm gonna do a bit more of a run through and a quicker one. So just do the pack up of the show and see what happens. Okay, starting off, uh, MView, as you know, uh, the bad guys. So, one thing I do, I do like their stand, how they did it. It's like like last year, but it actually looks a bit bigger this year. Um, the Husqvarna guys, these guys are huge over here. I know we have them in Australia with their uh, autonomous mowers and that. So, there's quite a lot um, there with the Siora range. Um, so, if you haven't seen that, so, which is pretty cool. Alrighty, let's keep on walking on the show. That's GCSA stage, where they do tend to have different um, guests and speakers and that throughout the time. All right, just to give you a bit of an idea, you'll, uh, this is where you got a chance to win a, a dog to chase away birds on the course. Trained dog, fully trained dog. Um, I do have a video of, actually no, I don't have a video of it, I've chased it this time. Um, yep, USGA, obviously they partner with the GCSA really well, so I've caught a lot of that. Ah, there's my friends at Power Cure. They got their stand there, which I've done really well in. I'm going to just pause here and say quick goodbye. All right, back here. So I got the, uh, well, was the PBI. Gordon guys, they're all finished now. Sub air. Oh, look at that fan. Quite big. Um, well, lights are going out. They're going to kick us out soon. Site one. They just do a... Sorry, just bumping into people as I know. Oh, there's the brand car. There's there's my new um yeah coming car. I'm thinking of getting the NASCAR. Oh, they're really wanting to kick us out now. I'll show you quickly the brand car. The Chevy Camaro. Oh, and that's the autonomous mower. Um, which is a bit different. All right, I will probably actually do another video from their closing celebration. That's where they announce um, the Turf Bowl winner. So I'm going to probably do that. But see, uh, Aquatrols, um, some of you guys remember, remember Revolution. They're still huge here. They bought, they're now part of, with Precision Labs, a quarantine, which is obviously sold in Australia. Uh, BASF are here too. Uh, a big bloody tractor, which is always pretty cool. Go three. There's the other. So, hey guys, turn around. Say hello. Hey, this is go for the vlog. So yes. So there's the other contingent. <laughs> Thanks to Toro for that one. I did put a few photos on about um, they met up with the guys from Penn State. Uh, Simplot there. Let's see what else. Ah, oh, Redexum. Ah, uh, yes, he is here. Yep, there's Dean Scullion there of Australia. I'm going to wave to him and try to embarrass him of sorts. So they've got some pretty cool Verde drains here. <laughs> They're pretty cool. So, yeah, so they've got the walk behind Verde drain, Verde cut. Pretty cool. Um, a harvester. Wow, that's um, bigger than I thought. Looks bigger than... Than I thought it was a verti core, so I'm pretty sure I haven't seen like a lot, but I think pretty sure this is all done in, in Australia the way it is. Oh, they've got the top dresser as well, a cedar. That's them. Yeah, I don't know if it's different. Um, these guys do all electric mowers, electric tools. Oh, the sweeper. All right. Um, I think these guys are always pretty good that they've got tools, tines, cylinder heads, spare parts. Yeah. These guys have always got some good stuff here. Uh, I've got the guys for Aqua A, which is the E-Man stuff. So you got the Barreto Cedar, the Shockwave. I had the Golf Simulator as well, which is pretty good. There was a couple of those there this year. I remember seeing one in the Australian conference earlier on uh, with Greenway. All right, drill and fill. Not bad. Alrighty, where are we going now? 
Um, Alright, turf go. That we've got there. That's sold. Australia, they got some stand on spreader with a sprayer there, which is pretty cool. Um, blowers, a buddy big top dresser. That's always good fun. Oh, the true turf. True turf guys. I haven't really seen this part of the conference, unfortunately. Get around as much as I would have liked and stopped, but that's okay. And spectrum technology eyes, and this is the fun part where you can pretty much keep on walking around while the cleanup's happening. So, Rainbow there. They've actually got a really big stand, a much bigger presence than probably the previous years. Um, they've just grown quite a bit. I think this is sometimes I wonder if the all, all, the, all the older guys in John get to go and have a ride on their um, mowers again. Oh, got the lights on as well. Ah, there, there's Dave Anderson. He's come out to Australia quite a few times. A brain child behind the um, GPS machine. All right, Dill F Seeds are here as well. Okay, the Smith Go guys at Turfcraft Machinery does do the sound there. There's Adama with the Quali Pro Ranger with the Baroness guys next to him. So as you can see, some pretty cool stands. The, the lot of lighting with the stands these days, I have noticed, um, which works out well. Um, this is Toro, and they're cleaning up their stand. They've got a seem to be a bigger stand this year as well. I have noticed everyone's just got that slightly bigger stand this year. Uh, the Dakota guys, which um, Equipment Solutions, um, so there, they got mini one. Oh, sorry, it's a medium, large, mini. <laughs> so, I like that. Wait a minute, medium, large, and extra large. <laughs> That's what it looks like there, so they just say everything is a lot bigger. Oh, I love this. It's like going, here we are, right? um, these guys got like roll, rollers and brushes for fairways and that kind of stuff, so it's one of those things where the oh, I didn't even hear the Jacobson would go through there. Um, yeah, fairway rollers, greens rollers, uh, there's Bernhard guys. Unfortunately, Steve Wilson's not here, so I can't go say hello to him. All right, let's head about this way and where Toro are going. Uh, there's Ventrac. Uh, Christian Belinda Stig were here. They actually won an award from Ventrac as well. I'll get some pictures and post that a little bit later on. But there's a Toro guys packing up their gear. Um, they got some pretty cool stuff. I did post some pictures of the new Procore that they've developed, uh, the next evolution of it. Um, FMC, who don't really do stuff in Australia for turf, but they do in a lot of horticulture side of things. Um, let's keep on going, and we'll probably head out and see. So if you do get a bit bored of this, I really apologise, but yeah. Okay, uh... Let me go see if there's anything I'm packing up here. Um, used to be where a few people cracked open a few beers, but now everyone just seems to want to get out. One thing is, um, I've, I've noticed, and a lot of people said they are all leaving this afternoon. Um, you know, one thing about um, the US is like with the airports opening up quite late, they have people flying out at like 10, 11 o'clock tonight, so no one, so no one's in a, people are in a rush, but some will be leaving tonight, some leaving tomorrow. Um, I did see a lot of people leave today, this morning. So that was one thing. Uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else on this side. I did see there's Hunter Irrigation and, oh yeah, we did do that one. Um, we'll just head out this way. Oh yeah, it's just on the exit, the front end loaders and the likes like that. So, you know, pretty cool. See, seeing all this different 
equipment here where you know stuff that the, you guys would use over the years but you actually got the exhibitors here which is always which is always interesting all right i think i'm gonna head off head out while this is not out there is actually more out here on the show so this is a little bit different here um than in the previous year where they've actually utilized this outside space uh, a lot of the um exhibitors have got pretty much gone um and the likes like that so they're all packing up so there are a lot of sort of first time exhibitors here and usually what they tend to do is put them in a certain area um they do that a lot more um just as as you're if you're here more so for um the first time they don't put you in the greatest area they you sort of, sort of build your way up which is a bit of a shame uh there's the St. Jetna National Resource Centre um there's a drone application for chemical and likes um however that's actually not legal from what I know but sort of promoting it that's just one of those things um all right i think i will pretty much finish it off there um might do a bit of a another video from the um turf bowl all right everyone um hope you're enjoying this and talk to you later